Kim, Jesus, and Gypsy. And we're going to be traveling through Maine today, September 10th, 2022. We're going to share with you Piscataquis County Sheriff's Department request form. That was also shared with Channel 5 last Thursday um, at the Clinton Fair. And it was shared with Mike Perkins running for the state Senate. So anybody that knows the two that I just mentioned... Be made aware that the whole state of Maine and the nation are aware that I filed a lawsuit. Not one, two, but plenty, quite a few. And I'm not done because that was just another retaliative situation. <clears throat> My daughter went missing after I filed that request. She went missing and she was put on a Greyhound sex trafficked all the way to Daytona Beach. My mail came up missing. Do you see this? United States Postal Service. Notably, and reports indicate that the fact is UPS workers knowingly and intentionally committed fraudulent acts and tampered with mail addressed to plaintiff knowingly and reported to all levels of law enforcement. Most recent to date, June 3rd, 2022, plaintiff yet to receive her mail as it gets sent back, returned to sender following repetitive actions leading to court case dismissals and many life hardships of a disabled person. Okay. Prior to this filing, previous court actions were filed against USPS and dismissed frivolously due to mail issues and denials leading to obvious tampering with by mail clerks and state government paid officials. Plaintiff sues United States Postal Service at all levels from Maine, Vermont, and all involved in the illegal activity against plaintiff. Further request for reconsideration on previous filing, plaintiff requests any and all dismissed cases be reopened and detached as evidence. Plaintiff will sue for $5 billion in punitive damages. There's my signature, and there's the notary that signed it. She happens to be the wife to a state trooper in Maine. Okay? So where did that information go, ladies and gentlemen? Hmm? You gonna tell me again that I'm in the wrong? I don't fucking think so. Okay? I'm showing you what you can do. And if it's happening to me, it's probably already happened to you. But you just didn't know what to do about it. Or you just... A male and don't know what to do about it. <laughs> Social Security Administration, Vermont, in behalf of Commissioner and all John Doe's and Jane Doe's involved, which led over here to the state of Maine. U.S. District Court for the State of Maine, Portland, Maine. I am requesting status information in regards to my filings May 27, 2022 in U.S. District Court, Portland, Maine, Civil Matters, Cross and Verses. I have not one time received information by mail or conversation from the court or anybody pertaining to my filings, which heightens my concern and level of concern, the repeat of history in tampering with my filings previously. Bangor Federal Court... Burlington Federal Court, and other courts related. I have proof, documentation, evidence, and witnesses to provide the fact that I have not been treated adequately, courteously, and have been retaliated against, without a doubt, conspired against, and have had lawsuit filings dismissed frivolously by court judges that I have currently and previously filed judicial misconduct against for the above-mentioned purposes. Now, you see... There's the complaint, okay? Three of them there. One, two from me and one from Bree. So, I also update the zip code to my mailing address. Seems it was previously given to the, me incorrectly, okay? And that's another situation. So, here's the letter to them. I'm not sure if you can read it. Okay? And it's notarized, all right? That's going to Portland today, too. United States Postal Service, 0595A, 0495A. That would be 05846 is Island Pond, Vermont, and 04958. That's not the answer. Huh. Request for investigation to Social Security Administration, Montpelier, Rutland, and Waterville, Maine. So, it's fair to say, people, that the filings that 